Well, former President Trump hit the campaign trail in Ohio as the legal wrangling continues in his multiple criminal cases. It comes after President Biden's own battleground push. CBS 2's Bradley Blackburn joins us from the newsroom with the latest on the presidential race. Bradley. Elaine Doug, Ohio is friendly territory for former President Trump. He won the state twice and, of course, it could be essential in 2024. In front of a sympathetic crowd of his supporters, he was fixated on what he calls his legal persecution. And he darkly predicted the end of democracy in the country if he doesn't win the White House. Campaigning in Ohio, former President Trump focused on his court battles. They're all bad people. Lashing out at the prosecutors behind four different criminal cases. If I weren't running, I wouldn't have any indictments. I got indicted more than Al Capone. Last week, Trump's legal team notched partial victories. In Georgia, a judge's ruling forced the resignation of special prosecutor Nathan Wade following a hearing on his romantic relationship with DA Fonnie Willis. And in New York, the trial on felony charges related to business Business records and payments to Stormy Daniels was delayed at least 30 days. And not only Yesterday, that, back in a state he won in 2020, Trump rallied supporters. Chicken's up, bread is up, and I can't read this damn teleprompter. And railed against a glitchy teleprompter. That son of a gun. But he was clear about his dark and prediction for the country the if he doesn't win in this. November. If this election isn't won, I'm not sure that you'll ever have another election in this country. In Washington, President Biden donned white tie for the gridiron dinner in his first appearance at the roast as president. Last week, he visited Michigan and Wisconsin, two battleground states that helped him win the White House in 2020. President Biden's gridiron dinner remarks were off camera, but many of his jokes were aimed at his opponent. The president will travel to Nevada and Arizona this week, two other battleground states. Elaine, Doug.